Charles, of course, denies the racism claims, but unless Harry and Meghan come out and say, oh, it wasn't him, this is a tricky position. It really is. I mean, that was the thing about this Oprah interview, and this was probably the worst of their allegations. It was, it really was like a sort of bombshell on a timer, which mm. um, they could sort of detonate whenever they like. They left it hanging. That was what was so cruel about the allegation. And, you know, it's one of the worst things that you can say in this day and age is accuse someone of being a racist. And just to put it out there and, and leave it hanging. And they made it worse by narrowing down the suspects a bit. They, they said they wanted to make it clear that it wasn't Prince Philip, who was very ill, who was in dying at the time of their interview, and it wasn't the Queen. But they made clear it was senior royals. So immediately the focus then moved to Prince William, Prince Charles, Camilla, and it sort of stayed there. So this is very damaging. It's given this author in America the chance to um, make these new claims. Mm. Charlotte, of all the explosive bombshells that were in that Oprah interview, this is the one that sticks. This is the one that won't go away, isn't it? Yeah, because they haven't given us an answer, so we'll just speculate and speculate. And um, in royal circles, people speculate even that it's actually a minor royal, and she's just blown it up to, you know, to make to make us speculate for longer and longer. And then there's the, the idea that it could be a very senior royal, like Prince Charles, who has said it's fiction. And this is the closest he's ever come to saying this whole thing is nonsense, by but saying it's fiction. I'm really take. I've read the claims in that book, and it's, it's, it's quoted dialogue. What, yeah. what is the source? I'm not familiar with this, this author, but I am sceptical about this book, I must say. Um, it, yeah, it just gives anonymous sources. Mm. Um, and it reports a conversation. It says, Charles said yes, to Camilla this, and Camilla said to Charles I mean, that. That's, how that's how can anyone know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Charles is right to say that that bit is fiction. It can only be fiction. It's written like a story. Um, but, but is the actual claim itself fiction? Well, I think one of the crucial things to remember is that in the Oprah interview, um, Harry and Meghan gave different versions, actually, yeah. of, of what had happened, about the timing of when these claims had been made. And it seemed like they, they hadn't really been clear about what they wanted to say, and it was just thrown out there. I don't know if they regret it now or if they're happy for it to be hanging, but it's um, very cruel and, I do think, yeah, very damaging. Mm. That's all we have time for in our YouTube version of the show. For more royal news, views and videos, head over to Mail Plus. The link is on your screen now.